Hi, everybody, and welcome T2 Challenge Season 2. I'm Mark Thompson with the High Performance Director of USA Table Tennis, Sean O'Neill, ready for uh, what is our fourth regional match of T2 Challenge Season 2. We are in Ohio at the Spin and Smash Club in Columbus, Ohio, for a matchup between Chance Friend and Seth Peck. Chance Friend in red on the left side of your screen, Seth Peck in blue on the right as we get underway in what is the fourth regional matchup between Team Alpha and Team Omega. Representing Team Alpha, it is Chance Friend, the 29-year-old, who is a coach at the Samson Dubina Club in Akron, Ohio, taking on Chance, uh, Seth Peck, who is 25 years old out of Strongsville, Ohio. And Sean O'Neill, looking forward to what is going to be a fast-paced match between these two gentlemen. Both these players have tremendous firepower chance with a little bit more experience, a little bit bigger forehand, but look to Seth to take opportunities on demand and really try to land some big forehands and big backhands. As noted, this is the fourth of what are 16 regionals in the T2 Challenge of Season 2 coming into tonight's match. It is Team Alpha leading over Team Omega, two matches to one. So this is a big match for Seth Peck representing Team Omega, trying to bring his group back in even with Team Alpha. And you see here, Chance, some very strong forehand serves, mixing it up well, changing the depth of the ball, but also the spin, trying to keep Seth away from those strong backhand openings. Oh, great forehand that time by Seth Peck. A couple of them, actually. And the second one paid off and now leads 4-2 here in game one, which, of course, is a best of seven. We're playing T2 rules. You see the 24-minute clock. Any game started after the expiration of that 24-minute clock is a fast five, and we've had a bunch of them already in the T2 Challenge Season 2. It's now drawing back within one is Chance Friend. Chance Friend coming into this evening's contest, a 2501 USATT rating compared to the 2425 for Seth Peck. And Mark, these players play a lot in practice. They train together. So a lot of times when that happens, the ratings won't play such a big factor because the serve and serve return is something that both players are much more comfortable with. It's really who's willing to take the risk to play outside their normal game. Chance Friend leading here in game one, now 6-4 after that powerful shot. Unable to handle it was Seth Peck. You got a couple of really well-conditioned athletes in this matchup here at Spin and Smash in Columbus, Ohio. And that's a great forehand block there by Chance. Mark, both of these players have also trained extensively in Europe. Um, Seth playing in Sweden and Chance also playing in Germany. Good response that time by Chance Friend on the step around forehand loop by Seth Peck, but Chance Friend made easy work of that. Now he's 8 4. Oh, missed opportunity that time for Seth Peck. He had Chance Friend on the defensive, but unable to close it out. Now a 9 4 lead for Chance Friend. And that's a nice backhand attack off the serve there. Well positioned right into that transition point. Seth needs to do that as much as possible. The serve comes back to Seth Peck. Down by four. Trying to get himself back into game one of the best of seven. Now taking the 10-5 lead is Chance Friend with five consecutive game points for him. Staving off the first one is Seth Peck as that shot goes long and wide. Now the serve returns back to Chance Friend up by four, 10 6 of the game point. Oh, great shot that time, Sean, by Seth Peck into the body of Chance Friend and drawing within three is Seth Peck. Great step around by Seth. He needs to keep counterattacking whenever possible. Oh, another one right there. Another nice, powerful forehand and drawing within two now. He was down uh, what would have been five game points. He's able to pull off three consecutive now at 10-8. And with the serve is Seth Peck. Oh, but not that time. 
as he's falling to his left side, <laughs> unable to get that final attempt onto the table. And taking game one here in this match is Chance Friend. Good uh, uh, effort that time by Seth Peck, but unfortunately, it looked like he was off balance and falling by the time he struck that ball. Sean O'Neill. And here we have a replay and Seth, nice backhand opening, but as he steps around, it's down goes Peck. Um, but yeah, he needs to keep up on his feet because if that ball does land, Chance probably could still put a paddle on it and then would have a complete open court. It's the big home run swing, but the swing and the miss and down goes Seth Peck. And game one goes to Chance Friend. And since we are playing the a coronavirus rules as well. You'll note that the players stay on their respective sides. To your left, Chance Friend taking on Seth Peck. Friend up one game to none here at this, what is the fourth regional matchup of the T2 Challenge Season 2. Oh, a great effort that time by both players, but Seth Peck unable to answer with that second forehand loop. Into the net it goes and a one nothing lead for Chance Friend. And you can see, Mark, the fact that these players train together. Those first and second attacks come back pretty regularly. Then it's really a positional battle to see who can land the final blow. That one goes long. So with the 2-1 lead is Seth. And the serve still remains with Chance Friend. Nice serve that time by Chance. Lots of movement on that ball and into the net. Goes Seth Peck, and now 2-2 here in game two. Again, Seth has to make his opening attacks. He cannot afford to spot Chance two or three points per game, being the slightly lower rated player. Oh, great step around power forehand loop down the line by Seth Peck to tie things at three. Great athletic power that time by Seth Peck. Excellent balance, good drive. Lots of solid backhands that time by Seth, but couldn't answer on the final forehand. And now with the lead again is Chance Friend at 4-3 here in game two. Great job on the counterattack there by Seth. Chance threw up a softer one. And Seth quickly stepped around, got his forehand re-loop in. Oh, gets the edge of the table that time by Seth Peck to take the 5-4 lead here as he goes as wide as possible on that one and catches the edge. Great rallies by both players. Each time it seems, Mark, that whoever could put more spin will cause the ball to dip a little more, and that makes it very difficult to keep the attacks going. Bouncing back is Chance Friend to draw within one. Down 5-6 here in game two, up one game to none. A little bit of a bad break that time for Chance Friend as it went off the top of the net and out. And drawing back to a two-point lead is Seth Peck with the serve. He comes deep to the left side of the table for this serve. Oh, great play that time by Seth Peck. Looked like he was a bit off balance, but was able to get the ball on the table. No answer for Chance Friend there, and a three-point lead for Seth Peck. Seth is doing such a great job with keeping the offense, making his back his opening backhands land, and then getting those forehands into play, especially on the wide forehand side. That backhand goes wide off the paddle of Chance Friend, and now a four-point lead here in game two. For Seth Peck. Oh. Here's the big swing. <laughs> oh, again, a miss. <laughs> and now back within three and the serve. Chance friend. Chance able to throw in a little bit of side spin on that last block. 
Again, Seth needs to keep the offense on his side of the net. Anytime he can make that first loop, he can really start the point on his terms. Oh, unable to handle that with Seth Peck. Great spin on the ball from Chance Friend. And now drawing within one is Friend. And Peth Peck trying to regain the momentum. Doesn't do it there. Great forehand loop down the line by Chance Friend. Has tied this game. He's down by as many as four at one point and finds himself now in a 9-9 tie. Game two, up one game to none, and the serve. Oh, another edge ball by <laughs> Seth Peck. It couldn't have come at a better time. Great break for Seth Peck. And he's got game point now here in game two. And he ends up getting it and wins game two, 11-9. So the uh, table tennis gods in favor of Seth Peck in that game too. And it works to his advantage. He went wins 11-9, evens things up at one game apiece. Sean, a really good athletic match here between these two gentlemen as we see what was game point in game two. The return there from uh, uh, Chance Friend ending up going long after his serve. Had a lot of spin on it, but getting it back on the table was Seth Peck, and he kind of loop it was Friend, but it just goes too long. Yeah, it looked like Seth was able to just play it right into the body a little bit, and his chance stepped around. He didn't get that final foot in perfect position. I like to say that the harder you try and the harder you work, the luckier you get. And definitely, um, Seth Peck had luck on his side in that last game. We'll see if he'll be able to keep that luck going alive here in game three. Starts off with a little luck for Chance Friend <laughs> as that one goes way long and a one nothing lead in the early going of game three. One game apiece in this regional matchup. Team Alpha versus Team Omega. A couple of good exchanges that time. The backhand off the paddle of Seth Peck. Really nice power, but ultimately into the net and down 2 nothing here. I mean, great shots by both players. And you could see on that last ball, Seth really going down to knee level because of the heavy spin that Chance is able to deliver. Got to stay up a little bit closer in these counter-looping rallies to catch them at closer to the top of the bounce so you can drive through it versus letting them dip so low. Chance Friend trying a little drop return that time. Drops it into the net. And now a 3-1 lead and the serve to Chance Friend. And that caught the edge as well. <laughs> I, I, if I'm a Seth Peck right now, I'm going to Vegas. <laughs> I just want to Vegas put it all in black and let them roll the wheel. <laughs> and Chance did a very nice job there of working on the backhand side. A little bit of a forehand step around fade, but staying away from Seth's big forehand, which we know he will swing without any hesitation. It was a big cut there from Seth Peck, but that one had uh, a lot of juice on it. He misses it 5-2 now. Chance Friend leading here in game three. Boy, there is no hold back in Seth Peck's game at all. He just swings for the fences constantly, and he gets it that time. Now within two at 5-3 and the serve. Chance Friend. Chance is really trying to slow things down so he can like make a heavy spin. And at the same time, Seth is trying to speed him up and just take big shots on both sides. Well, Sean, you noted it. these guys train together quite a bit. You would imagine there's some what I would call local knowledge between the two. So Seth Beck probably knows what he's doing if he wants to beat Chance Friend. Chance is known to have such a great serve and follow, really loads it up. And if Seth can get past the serve every time and get into more of a, a brawling back and forth off the table, we know he's got the firepower. Just has to make the easy balls and not give away any free ones. And he draws to even at sixes here after being down by a couple. And as many as three in this match at 6-3, draws back to 6-6. Six, six. And 1-1 one, one in games to serve over to Chance Friend. 29 years of age. It's off the net and out. So first lead of this third game for Seth Peck. 
Chance Wren trying to regain the momentum. Great job by Seth, really keeping it tight in Chance's backhand, moving it around. Excellent position. Two-point lead here for Seth Peck. Nice short serve and comes across with a big drive, stepping to deep on the right side of the table. Nice, nice play that time. Good positioning for Seth Peck. Again, a nice body blow there by Seth, able to keep the pressure on. Now by after being down by as many as three, he's up by four. Look, to ch look at Chance try to slow this down. He needs to try to get that big forehand into play and not allow any. And there's another unforced error there. Wow. Seth going for a little too much there on the short ball. That's unfortunate right there because he could have closed it out. Another game point for Seth Peck here. So he goes for the short slice backhand serve, but it hits the top of the net. Let serve. Oh, now battling back in here is Chance Friend. Draws within one. Peck, who led by as many as four. And there's another backhand that goes long. And now we are in my favorite part of the match. One point to, to score for the game. And game three is going to go to Chance Friend. Down by as many as four and unable to close it out was Seth Peck in game three. Chance Friend staves that off and wins 11-10 to take a two games to one lead. And just great experience there by Chance. Able to keep the serve short, get into a backhand exchange, able to step around. You can see the paddle on the yeah. ground after the point. But somehow, Chance able to get that forehand off the body shot. And that game was completely stolen with all those game points saved. Yeah, I think Seth thought that ball was going to go wider to his right. He's making a big move for him left to right. It ends up being in his body. He just tries to get the paddle on the ball, but it goes long and a great comeback victory in game three for Chance Friend. Now up two games to one as we go to game four here at Spin and Smash. We're in Columbus, Ohio. T2 Challenge Season 2, Team Alpha versus Team Omega. And Team Omega's representative, Seth Peck, with the serve, down two games to one. And now down one nothing here in game four. I will say, Mark, the body language that Seth exhibited as he came out of that break was very positive. Kept dancing around, kept moving. Let's see if he can get this game going. Because if he goes down a couple points here, that last game will come back to haunt him. You know, Sean, you're right about that. You could just take a look at him. and his, his attitude is one totally upbeat. He's right being down right now. And a great shot that time by Chance Friend. Now up 3-0 here in game four with the serve. A great oh. counter-attacking by both players. And again, Chance gets the better of that with having just a little bit more topspin. And what a change in momentum from now, the last game. Now a 4 nothing, but Chance Friend was so deep off the table that time and still looking to be on the defensive. He put tremendous power on those forehand loops, Sean. That's, that's a considerable skill. You'd think that you're in a position defensively just to block it back on the table. And instead, Chance Friend went with big loops with power. And Seth Peck, unable to handle those, ultimately now finds himself down by four early here in game four, down two games to one. Yeah, Ch Chance hasn't started the points so offensively, but he's continued to get into them when the balls are being landed into his body. That one goes long. It's now 5 nothing here in game four. And Seth Peck trying to find an answer to get back into this one. Oh, that's an that's answer right there. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's a beautiful forehand flip kill. And that's how Seth plays. He doesn't go like 50%, 60%. No. He goes all out when that opportunity is there. You can't again, handle that one on the backhand, yeah, though. Yeah, the positional experience of chance on that last one. Oh. 
and Chance is just kind of running the table right now. When you have a lead, it's so much easier to be able to play even more defense and maybe a little bit more position. Oh, and look at that block block down the line. Excellent play. Now with a the largest lead of the match at 8-1. Now 9-1 for Chance Friend, up two games to one, and Seth Peck with his back to the wall. And you can see Chance just bringing everything back and Seth putting everything he has on it. And that does it for game four. In short order, Chance Friend, an 11 to 1 dominating victory to take a three games to one lead after four games. And Sean's just taking a quick look at that fast five clock as we head to game five here. The, you know, depending on the length of this game right here, there's a possibility that Chance Friend could close this thing out without going to a fast five as we get a look at that last point and tremendous spin that time by Chance Friend as he was able to get that one to kind of take that quick top spin, you know, jump forward and missing the ball was Seth Pet. Yeah, right now, obviously Seth has to regroup. He's got to probably not think about the timer and the clock, but just try to get a W because if he can get into the next game, at least the clock will be on his side because I'm sure it'll take more than four minutes and 24 seconds to go in to finish off this game, but Chance has really just been in the driver's seat for the last 15 points. And you can see Chance, he's moving very quickly. He wants to win this, obviously, without going to a fast five, because uh, in that case, you double your points for your team. In other words, if you win one of these regionals for either Team Alpha or Team Omega, and there's a fast five involved, you get one point. But if you win without going to the fast five, you get twice as many points. So it is big, Sean. No, it, it's it's a it's a doubler. So I mean, you definitely want to do that. So sure that Chance is aware of that with the team captains sharing the match strategy. But so far, Chance has really been, gosh, just on fire for the last two games. He's like a pitcher in baseball who's who's hot, who just keeps getting the ball and throwing it. Oh, great shot that time by Seth Peck! Tremendous power down the line, blew it by Chance Friend. So. That's a, a positive, uh, you know, from a mental standpoint to win a point like that, important for Seth Peck. Come on. Seth definitely wants to play controlled offense. Can't go to just uh, that, that forehand needs to land. That's on his paddle. He should be able to drive that on the table, but now trailing two to six here in game five. Now opening up a five-point lead is Chance Friend at 7-2. Big swing on that one. Off the edge of the paddle goes high and wide, and it is an 8-2 lead now for a dominating Chance Friend. And now with match point is Chance Friend at 10-3, a dominating performance here. There's a let serve. Oh, and a great <laughs> shot down the line to win the match for Chance Friend and doing so without having to go to the fast five, an 11-3 victory here in game five. So 11-8, 9-11, 11-10, 11-1, and then 11-3, a dominating games four and five for Chance Friend. And Shawnee's just doubled up his points for Team Alpha with that big dominating victory. And just really dodged a bullet and just kept the pressure on, showed his experience, and really helped Team Alpha. So it is Chance Friend with a four games to one victory over his good friend, Seth Peck, who was game in the game, but unfortunately too much. Chance Friend wins that one, ends up picking two points up in the standings for Team Alpha, who now lead 
four matches to one over the Team Omega. And we want to thank everybody at Spin and Smash for all of their great work. And thank the two players as well for season two of the T2 Challenge.